welcome to episode 6 of Create Your Life, where I show you how I achieve everything and anything I set my mind to, in hopes that you will finally decide to believe in yourself and do the same. Create your life. Welcome to the vlog, everyone. I am packing right now. I'm supposed to be leaving the house in uh, 20 minutes in order to be there, like, nice and early and, you know, have, like, a breezy ride to Vegas, uh, but we're not totally sure that's going to happen considering I still have to dry and straighten my hair and, well, nothing's packed. But I did put it all together, so I wanted to show you guys what I'm packing because this is the lightest that I've ever packed in my life for a trip. So... I am going to pack in my Offaly Duffel, which is a super high quality bag, by the way. It's like so freaking nice, and I've always wanted to use it, but I'm always on super long trips. So now it's a short trip, so I can use this. So I already planned out tonight's dinner outfit, which is going to be this pink shirt and jeans. And if that doesn't work out, I did bring one backup tank top that I know I can just pair with the jeans and some heels. And then I brought tomorrow night's outfit as well for going out. It's shorts and a black onesie. The backup for that is a black, plain black dress that is very light, so it's not um, it's not heavy like to put in my suitcase. But I have to have a backup, like just in case. So those are for sure backups. Have my bras and bralettes, one belt. The, this is the only stuff that I'm not totally sure I'll wear, which is a pair of shorts, a skirt. Uh, this is like a cute t-shirt onesie. And then just like another, this is an athlete t-shirt like a flowy one. So I'm not sure if I'll wear those, but those are like the extras that I'm bringing. And then I'm bringing some workout shirts, first form, Alphalete, and just for my workouts, three black sports bras. One is Alphalete, one is TJ Maxx, and one is Forever 21. This is the purse I always bring to go out. Pairs of socks, Alphalete lifestyle hat, which I absolutely love. I think it's so cute, and this is one of my favorite colors. This is a Ravish Sands one-piece bikini that I'd custom made for me. So I'm gonna bring that. And then I have two black tank tops. And I'm bringing my favorite Alphalete leggings, black and blue. That will be for tomorrow, Friday, and Saturday. And I'm probably gonna bring one t-shirt dress that is not pictured here. Throw that in there for shoes. I'm just bringing these shoes that I got on sale at Aldo. I believe they were $30. They were like super, super on sale. Um, I'm gonna bring my Converse. And then, where are they? I will bring... These bad boys. Key Lunar Epic Flyknit 2. I knew I was going to leave in about 30 minutes, so I threw my meals that I prepared into the freezer. This is oven roasted turkey breast and green beans. It was just a bag of frozen green beans. And then this is cod and green beans. Um, I didn't weigh out the proteins, I just put quite a bit in there. So I would estimate that's probably about like five ounces of oven roasted turkey breast in there. And this is probably six ounces of cod in there. Um, and then I have my protein by the pound, so the rest of that turkey breast. I have one uh, chicken rice and green bean meal, so these are like the meals I have. And then another pound of cod. So these are the only meals I'll be bringing because I know I'll be eating out um, at least for dinner with my teams. Since I have my dinner covered, I'll just cover, have to cover my breakfast and then like a meal throughout the day. That's why I made it a little bit bigger of a protein portion. Uh, so that's it. Oh, wait, I have to show you also have all my toiletries so what I did was I took out all of my makeup from my bag and I put some makeup on this morning uh, and I only put back in the makeup that I used this morning plus like the eyeshadow that I'll want to wear like when I go out which is my naked palette and then I was able to fit like a toothbrush some toothpaste some face wash travel size my makeup extending spray which is 3.4 ounces so I'm able to take it on the plane I took out all of my makeup wipes and only put enough for tonight tomorrow and Saturday bringing one clip my razor my brush and then definitely a hair straightener and then like just some jewelry. So this, that, my food, computer, charger, headphones, phone, phone charger, and my vitamins. I'm just gonna put them all in here. So um, I'll probably bring C21 to make sure I can sleep on there. You wanna square your shoulders up this way. So it's like your lower body is but turn more this way towards me. So one thing I would do, just looking at it, is bring this foot out a little bit more. I've been in a million places I've never seen many faces But I feel it's supernatural Cause the spark is electric For every part of me I feel
So I decided not to really vlog while I was at Olympia, but I had an amazing time, had a good time at the expo, went to some pool parties, had some nights out with my teammates, and it was just absolutely an incredible time. So now we're going to get back to the rest of the vlog. As soon as I got back to California, you guys have to know by now the very first thing that I had to do. Welcome to the vlog, everybody. This is going to, yeah, be a vlog, not an informative video. I'm gonna take you guys around, show you what I'm doing. A uh, little recap, after the last video, I went to Vegas, had an amazing time with Athlete, Icon Meals, First Form, everyone was there, amazing time. And then I came home and I've just been getting my life together, trying to get back in the groove of things. It's really hard when you get off your schedule like that. Had a lot of fun. Uh, it was like a really great bonding experience and two of my very best friends were there, Rob and Ryan from Athlete, and it was incredible incredible being able to be there with them. We were able to like recreate old memories, make new memories, and it was just awesome. The whole First Form squad was there. Todd with Icon Meals got to see him. So just amazing time with amazing people, and I'm so glad that I went. Um, and I'm so glad that I got to meet a bunch of you guys at the expo, even though I didn't have a booth. I did decide next time I'm going to contact someone ahead of time and try to get a set spot in a booth because it was a little difficult trying to meet everyone in the midst of everything. So right now I'm about to take all my morning supplements. So here I have some M Factor Goddess, which is my multivitamin. I have a digestive pill, probiotic, fish oils. Uh, I don't remember what the gray ones are, but I'll figure it out and let you know. I put them in my little like pill cap thing. So, gonna drink this and I'm walking to Gold's and we are getting an amazing sweat session in. It's like 11.30, I feel good. I just had an Icon Meals custom meal. It was pancakes, bacon, and egg whites. And life is good. So I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good day. Just make it a good day. You have to say it's gonna be a good day. And then it will be a good day. Okay, here we go. I'd just like you guys to know that I pair a little parts out last night, perfectly. Be proud. One of my absolute favorite things about living here is that I literally walk everywhere. At the gym now, I'm gonna get a lift in, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Guys, this past Sunday I had probably the best Sunday of 2017 and I had to share it with you guys in hopes of inspiring you guys to take some time out of your week to go do something that is going to feed your soul. This totally fed my soul. So I woke up super early. I drove to Malibu to this place called Cars and Coffee and it's an event that they do every other week I believe and basically they bring out some awesome cars to this lot and this car I fell in love with. It's an Audi R8 that was wrapped in matte black. It was beautiful and you know just saw the cool cars, saw the scenery, there was a baseball field that overlooked the ocean right next to it, and this is all in Malibu, which is like a 20 minute drive for me when there's no traffic, which is, you know, Sunday morning at 6 a.m., which is perfect. I even got to see a freaking bunny rabbit, how cool is that? Um, and then went next door to the university right next to it, and they had all these flags out, which was really cool, got to take some cool photos there, and then I made the drive up into the Malibu mountains, it was twisty and turny and beautiful, and when you got to the top, it was just 
the most gorgeous view. There was this graffiti hike that I did, and at the end of it, you see there was this like graffiti wall that overlooked. I think it's like the second highest peak in the Malibu Mountains, so the views were just out of this world. And you guys know things like sunsets and natures and hike, it like puts me in the most amazing mood and mental space ever. So doing stuff like this is important for me. Afterwards, I went to a really cool restaurant I'd never been to before called Moon Shadows Malibu. It's a mainly seafood place, but they do have some breakfast items as well. I ended up getting smoked Scottish salmon with a bagel and it was absolutely delicious. I actually even treated myself to a Bloody Mary for the first time and it was really, really good. I always thought the concept of a Bloody Mary was weird, but I'm really glad I got one. So I had an incredible Sunday and I just want to remind you guys to identify things that are good for your soul and do them because it totally set the tone for the rest of the week for me. All right, that's enough for now. I'm going to update you guys with all of my competition stuff in the next clip. This vlog is all over the place, but I just finished up a session at Gold's Gym. I did shoulders. I will actually put the workout below since I feel bad that this workout, or that this, not the workout, I feel bad that the vlog isn't like too, too much variety. It's kind of short, I think, so I'll put the workout below. It's a really good workout. Ended with, I actually ended up doing 35 minutes on the little stair stepper thing over here, that one. Um, and I did some facing forward, and then I did some facing backwards. Basically, you just face backwards and push through your heels, squat over just a little bit, and it targets your upper glute, like the upper portion of your glute really, really well. It's a really solid pump. Uh, I did take a pre-workout today, thank God, because I was so tired. I took Megawatt B2, which I have not taken in a very long time. Uh, I used to take it all the time during prep, so I tried to give my body like a little break in between preps. Uh, so it was really nice to take that and to like feel the full effect of that. Now I'm gonna do my little walk home. I'm gonna have a post-workout meal and then wrap up some work for the night and I'll see you guys when I get home for a little update. I wanna give you guys an update on my prep. What I'm doing, just talked to Coach today, just checked in with him. We are doing uh, consistent check-ins again, so it's gonna be really exciting to share my next show plans with you guys because everyone keeps asking. I just got home and I'm eating my post-workout meal. I have oven roasted turkey breast and some green beans from a frozen bag because convenience. I also just watched the sunset, so I'll put the picture of the sunset right here for you guys. I always post it on my Instagram story, or I try to remember to post it there, just because I love to share the beautiful view with you guys, and there's so many people that are like, thank you Emily for posting it, it makes me so happy, so that's why I continue to post it. I truly am just like in love with where I live, I feel so thankful every single day of my life that I get to live here. So, I'm gonna update you guys on my prep after I eat this meal, because it's just absolutely delicious. Oh, I was gonna tell you, I'm not eating carbs because I finally got to try oh well, these tomato and basil rice cakes. They're the rice cakes, gluten-free, whatever, tomato and basil, and I ate four. So I had four and also had carbs at all of my meals today except for this one. Uh, so I don't need carbs right now because I'm going to have a few carbs later as well for my last meal. So Update on prep coming right now. Post-workout, I'm a mess, but I really need to update you guys on what's going on. And you know, this vlog was kind of all over the place. So kind of talking about my competition plans. I feel like I've talked about it a lot, but people still ask me what my competition plans are, when my next competition is, and it kind of gets like redundant having to explain it all the time. So this is the video that I will direct them to, to kind of explain everything. So you guys know that I did my 17th show and it was my third pro show in the very first weekend of June of this year. And this entire prep was really really difficult for me I had you know sickness and I was like I don't know going through a lot and it was just it was the hardest prep that I've ever done to this date and looking back at my dieting history I'd done a total of 17 shows and the longest off season that I had was six months and honestly that's not enough time to give my body my metabolism a break so after looking at that and seeing how difficult this one was and kind of how extreme I had to go in terms of like dieting and cardio Coach and I decided that we are gonna take as long as we possibly need because the next time that I step on stage, I won't be doing it just because I'm here to compete, just because I love it, which I do, I, I love it all. But next time I compete, I'm coming to win. Next time I compete, I'm coming for that top call out, for that first place. And it's not saying that I'll be, you know, super upset and whatever if I don't get it, but, you know, these past few shows, I knew I wasn't in a position to win. And so I did it with the intention of, they're my first pro shows, I'm going to go and do them as good as I can, I'm going to give it my all, I'm going to go for first. But, like, I was very realistic in the sense of that I wasn't in a place to place. I wasn't in a place to, like, place top five. Um, so I knew that. So next time I compete, I will not be competing until I am a thousand percent sure I'm, I'm going for that top five, I'm going for that top first spot. Uh, so with that said, 
I have to take time off. I have to let my body readjust to normal calories, normal intake, a normal amount of cardio, uh, some no cardio at some point. I have to get my body back in alignment, back in balance. It's really, really important to take an off season. I definitely recommend it. I recommend taking as long as you can. Uh, looking back, I don't wish that I had taken longer. I think it's, you know, I did a lot of shows back to back, which is why I've done 17 total. Uh, but I do think right now is the perfect time for me to take as much time as I possibly need off. So with that said, my very next show will be to be determined. Uh, basically, I would love nothing more than to shoot for the 2018 Olympia, which is next year's Olympia. Uh, but if I'm being realistic and honest, I kind of think that I'm going to have to go ahead and shoot for the 2019 Olympia. Just because, you know, you guys say, oh my gosh, but that's a whole year. You don't realize I stopped dieting probably right at, I think it was July, because I was still trying to diet after my last show and it just wasn't working. So I think about July is when I stopped dieting. And honestly, I think my body needs at least like a year of not dieting in order to respond well. Um, I know other girls that like during prep, they'll be dieting on my off season macros. So like on my in season macros, it's like, in, like insane and I, I don't want to do that again I'm not going to do that again um, so you know I think I'm in a good spot right now to try and train my body to be able to use food, food as fuel and to kind of get things back to a better level and coach is very confident that my hormones all checked out with my doctor um, I'm young I'm healthy I'm in a really great spot and so he thinks my body's going to bounce back and I'm going to be able to do this so the goal is basically just kind of get my intake better get my metabolism better get my body functioning and running great uh, and then when we both feel that we're in a good spot to diet down for a show, then we will do so. Now, it's not to say that between now and next July that I won't do many cuts, just like many lifestyle type cuts, maybe... If I have a shoot coming up or or if I just feel like I need to shed a little bit of body fat and then go back into a reverse diet, we'll do that. So it's not saying I'm not going to cut until then. Uh, but as far as right now, that's the plan. Now, as far as being at the Olympia and watching the Olympia and how that was for me, it's crazy because in years past, I... You know, I wasn't a pro and I, I would watch the Olympia on and all the girls on stage and I made it my goal and I said, I will be a pro, I will be on that stage. And then, you know, last year I got to watch the Olympia and I had just turned pro and I was like, that's amazing. And I, I hadn't done a pro show yet, but I was like, I'm, I'm one step closer. And then this Olympia, I had done three pro shows under my belt and I felt it. I knew that, I know, I know, I know when I come back, I'm going to be able to do it. And so like watching it this past year, this past, you know, few weeks, uh, was absolutely incredible because I've never been closer than I was at that show and I know that I'm going to be up there and it's cool because like everyone that was up there they're all my friends now so like before when I would watch the Olympia it was like a bunch of girls that I didn't really know and I thought it was awesome and I couldn't wait to be a part of it and now like it, I know all of them and I like feel a part of it and I just feel like it's really really cool to get to watch them be in their moment and do their thing because I know my moment's coming too and it's going to be incredible so I'm beyond stoked I absolutely still have that goal of being Miss Bikini Olympia. I will still go after that goal. As long as my heart is all the way in it, I will always be in it. If my heart ever is not in it anymore, I'll tell you guys and I'll change directions. I'll change paths. I'm not close-minded, but it is still, oh my gosh, such a goal of mine. It is something I'm going to do. But with that said, competing isn't my everything. I have, you know, my business and my family and my relationships and everything else going on. And the way that I described it to a friend recently is that I'm basically building, of course, I'm using the analogy of a dessert. I'm building this amazing sundae, right? And there's like ice cream and whipped cream and not bananas, but there's like chocolate and, you know, chocolate shavings and maybe some chocolate pretzels in there, uh, some caramel. And then winning Miss Bikini Olympia is literally going to be the cherry on top. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it because it's a goal of mine, because I'm passionate about it, because I love it. And it's going to happen in the perfect moment in time. So don't you guys worry. My head is still in it. I still have such a passion for it. I absolutely love it. I did my bikini posing clinic at the Olympia and you guys, it's like, for me, it's a lot of work putting those things together. You have to get the location. You have to kind of advertise for it, let people know that you're doing it so you can get people to sign up. You have to take the signups. You have to answer the questions. It's like a lot, right? And then I get there in the moment and like, you know, it starts and boom, I'm just like in my element. I'm so happy. I love doing it. And I ask myself every time, Emily, why do you not do these more? <laughs> like you need to do these more 
often, you love it. So I'm gonna definitely make posing clinics more a part of what I'm doing. I'd like to try and do one maybe once a month, even in LA. So that's my competition stuff. I started today checking in with my coach. Um, I don't know if I told you guys, but him and I had like an hour long conversation in the middle of the Olympia sitting on the floor at the expo because we were just trying to like zone in on each other. And we had an amazing discussion and we know when the time comes that I'm just going to completely just turn off and just kind of put myself in that zone and we're going to go, go, go and we're going to go for it and we will get it. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, but checked in with him today and today starts the structured improvement season. So up until now, I've not been tracking macros. I feel amazing. I have little cheats when I want them. You know, they're not cheats. They're just, I just happen to have them if I want them and I continue on my program. I feel so good with my food relationship and my balance between everything, but now it is time to make sure that I'm getting a proper intake. When I decided to actually track the food to give him the estimated macros of what I'm hitting, it wasn't that much, you know? It was, it's a good, like, you know, maintenance style eating, but, like, it's not enough to, like, put on size or to, let you know, put on, you know, more to make more improvements is what I'm saying and I don't really need to like put on size per se I just need to continue to develop the muscle that I have and I would love to continue to develop my glutes and get those stronger so that when I condition them they look more uh, more defined because the more muscle you have the more defined you're gonna look when you take the body fat off so that's kind of the goal right now uh, with the business side of things I really appreciate you guys all of your feedback on these YouTube videos it's been amazing you guys have seemed to put a lot of interest into the business side of things but as you guys see I'm still showing you workouts food everything uh, but back to the business side so bikini posing clinics I'll be doing those most likely once a month I'm gonna try and do one in Houston soon uh, maybe a few different locations it kind of depends in order for me to travel and spend money on like a flight an Airbnb or a hotel I definitely have to get quite a few signed up so you know I'll stay in contact with you guys watch my Instagram stories I do a lot on there uh, if you would like Skype bikini posing sessions, I'll usually take about 12 per month. So you just purchase that on my website, emilyhaydenfitness.com. Purchase it and then you email me your receipt and let me know when your availability is for that month or kind of what you're looking at. And I absolutely love posing, guys. It's my favorite thing to make someone else feel beautiful and confident in their poses and their body and what they're doing and it's like it's so much fun for me um so yeah that's what i'm doing right now that's kind of my update for prep uh i'll update you guys on a lot of stuff later this is kind of a long very very long video but i just kind of wanted to check in with you guys so uh the next video will come soon <laughs> promise no really well i'm home i'm not traveling like crazy i've had sleep and that's the most important thing to me. I'm trying to really take care of my body and my mental state. And I think sometimes I go a little too hardcore one way or the other. Like, I put out so much content and so much out there that, like, it burns me out so quickly. So I think for myself, I've got to find that balance. And I think it's important for you guys, too, when handling your business. Um, it's not bad to go 1,000 miles per minute, but then maybe the next week you don't have to go 1,000 miles per minute, you know? Or maybe you could find a little medium to where it's like instead of 1,000 miles per minute, you can go 555 hundred per minute. I don't know. The crazy people out there will understand. But that is my update for now, you guys. I am beyond happy. I am loving my life. I am getting through everything I'm getting through and life is just like a blessing every single day. You guys see on my Instagram story, I share my sunset and you know, I write things on there like I never want to leave or I live in the best place or I live in paradise. And it's not me bragging, it's me trying to express my sincere gratitude and my sincere thankfulness for like the life that I live. I always say, you know, the name of the series is Create Your Life. And it's just, it's so incredible to me that every single day I'm being able to create this incredible life and I'm putting in the work and then I have faith in God that he provides things in my life. He always provides no matter what. So that's why when things are really hard or maybe business isn't going as well or whatever it might be, I don't have to stress because I know that if I aggressively be patient, meaning I'm working really, really, really hard on my end to do everything I possibly can, I know that my faith will come through. I know that God will provide for me in every single way and he always has. And that's why I can have peace no matter what's going on in my personal life, my business life, or whatever it might be. I have peace because I know I'm where I'm supposed to be. And it's an incredible thing when 
you kind of like put that energy out there in the world and then it comes back to you and I see it come back to me literally all the time so I hope that through these videos I can somehow like give that energy to you guys if maybe you're lacking it or you don't have it or you need it here's a big hug I love you and you're gonna be okay I promise because I've been there I've been not okay a lot of times and I'm okay right now and you will be okay too so I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching my videos. I literally, it means the world to me from the bottom of my heart. I love you. If I don't say thank you enough, this is me saying thank you. And I love you. And I'll see you in the next video, okay? Good night.